attracted British, yes or no? So what really attracted British to form East India Company? Portuguese. Portuguese was really attracted. See, because they are buying for less amount and they are selling in Europe for more profits. So what is East India Company? A group of merchants came together with some amount of money. So they formed a company. For that, where they got the what uh, permission? From British Crown. See, what is uh, Royal Charter? Permission from British Crown. Yes or no? So, what is two-fold authority? Yes. So, taking permission from British Crown as well as from India. At that point of time, Mughals were very powerful. Yes or no? So, getting permission from both sides is called two-fold authority. Who mediated uh, in India? Sir Thomas Roy was the person who mediated between uh, East India Company and Mughals. Yes or no? This is what we have discussed and also uh, the, from 1600 to what happened? When British has entered into India? 31st December 1600. Okay. So till 1757, is there any problem? So what, what was the condition at 1757? What was the historical uh, moment happened? Battle of Plassey. So in 1764? Battle of Buxar. So, till 17, 1757, is there any problem? They were paying dividends to the Britain and also paying rent to the Mughals. So, there was no problem. But when problem started? So, when, when, they, not st uh, when they stopped paying rent to the Mughals, so the problem started between Mughals and East India Company. So, that led to two important battles. And finally, Bengal went into the control of whom? East India Company. East India Company. Later, 1770s, what we have seen? Great Bengal famine. So, Great Bengal famine because Britishers are neg were neglected welfare of the people. So, and also they promoted what? Cash crops instead of food crops. Definitely there was a problem. So, many people have died in Bengal out of what? Because of starvation. So, finally, so there is no problem till 1770 also with the British, British crown. So, what happened at that point of time after 1770? So, East India Company affairs were neglected by directors. They became very much corrupted. They are accepting the gift from the local, local rulers. So, what happened finally? Finally, what happened? East India Company went into the $6 billion debt. And also, they applied for £1 million pound of loan in the Britain bank. But they are unable to pay also. That also led to what? Bankruptcy. So, with that condition because now problem with what unable to pay dividends to the even British by East India Company now if you are not paying the rent it's okay you uh, uh, went for the battles and you occupied our territory but is the British crown going to be calm no so what happened so a committee was appointed secret committee was appointed the name of that committee is what general Burgai committee so that committee have given clear report that East India Company's directors are becoming rich day by day but company is going to the losses. It, it won't happen, right? If the company is in good profit, then only the employees will get a good amount of money. But here what is happening? Directors are becoming rich, but company is going to the losses. So to correct that, so the uh, British Crown came up with what? 1773 Regulating Act. What we have seen in 1773 Regulating Act? So their subordination, you have seen what? Subordination. Governor of Bombay and Governor of Madras subordinated to Governor General of Bengal. So now whatever the decision, individual decisions they will take, they have to follow the what uh, decision of Governor General of Bengal assisted by four member executive council. And also one fourth of the members retire every four years. Every four years. One fourth of the directors will retire every four years. And also they established Supreme Court in Kolkata. Yes or no? Kolkata. So why Supreme Court uh, they came up with? Because if the directors indulge any corruption, then the Supreme Court will what punish or penalize or uh, penalty will be given to the directors. So directors have some fear. Yes or no? And also the fourth point you have seen. So annual financial report they need to submit to Chancellor of Exchequer. Yes sir, no? Annual financial report. So what is annual financial report? So they have to maintain so every month, so how much expenditure is happening, how much income is coming for the company. So like that, they have to maintain every detail. But before this, are they maintaining the any details? 
No, because com royal charter given complete freedom, like a country, so they can maintain the army to protect the their settlement. If anybody come to the come to any threat, then they can go for the war, and also they can do the trade according to their wish. No need to depend on Britain for anything. Yes or no? They can pass the laws, sub laws, like a country. So that much of freedom was enjoyed by whom? East India Company. That is why it is called as Rise of East India. Company rise of East India Company means you can write from 1600 to 1773. In 1773 Regulating Act, what happened here? Annual financial report means so now company so what is pro, what profit is coming? What expenditure is doing every year? There will be a record and also administrative and political affairs also report also submitted to secretary concern secretary so that everything is uh, is indirectly under control of whom the British Crown indirectly because see because of this this is what regulating act no since 1773 regulating act in any book you will see these provisions will be there but what is the critical analysis of what critical analysis of 1773 regulating act in this what is the positive outcome within less span of time the East India Company came into the profits so which was earlier there six billion dollars debt now it came into the what profits so later after 1773 regulating act East India Company within less span of time came into the profits. So because of all these measures taken in the 1773 Regulating Act. What was the defect we have observed in 1773 Regulating Act? Yes. Yeah. In Governor General of Bengal which was having what four member executive council the majority decision have taken by government, Governor General of Bengal. But Governor General of Bengal was not having complete authority in decision making power. And also these individual governors earlier they took the what? Their own decisions. But now they have to, they, they have to, uh, see, actually, earlier they are taking what? Their own decisions. But according to 1773 Regulating Act, Governor General of Bengal's decisions need to take. Yes or no? So, that the decisions need to follow. But they are telling what? That they are taking their own decisions and telling that in urgency we took the decision. So, like that, not obeying the what? The decisions of Governor General of Bengal, also one of the defects. So, earlier, complete freedom. But 1773 Regulating Act, regulating, regulating means started, started controlling, started controlling, now centralized here. So this is completely decentralization, now centralization started from 1773. So that is why 1773 is the first constitution of East India Company, you can tell. Yes or no? First constitution of East India Company. And first to time, the center, first step towards the centralization, you can know, in quote, the first step towards the centralization and what is your pochu so and after 1773 regulating act 1813 charter act british government came up with what 1773 uh, and 1784 pits india act see after 1773 1784 pits india act now why British Crown came up with this Pitts India Act. The main reason, because why 1773 Regulating Act came into existence, everyone know. Yeah, East India Company went into the losses. Yes or no, directors are becoming rich, but company is going into the losses. That was the main reason why British Crown want to regulate the affairs of East India Company. Yes or no, now after 1773 Regulating Act, there are some defects you have seen, no? To correct those defects, to correct those defects which was there in the 1773 Regulating Act, the British Crown came up with what? 1784, that is what? Pitts India Act. So, in this Pitts India Act, 1784, there was a main provision, the East India Company, see, the, whatever the Governor General of Bengal, here, how many members are there? How many members are there? The Governor General of Bengal, assisted by how many members? Four members. Now, that four members is reduced to three members. Why? Because here, four members were there, majority decision was taken, no? Now, reduced to three members and final decision will be taken by Governor General of Bengal. Now, there is no majority decision of what? Four members. Now, they will become advisory only. Now, three members give some advice. So, the final decision is taken by Governor General of Bengal. See, earlier, four members is there means three members say something, one member say other thing. Now, whatever three members says, this decision have to perform by Governor General of Bengal. That was the defect because Governor General of Bengal not having